It's just after midday, you're live on ENCA. It's great to have you with us this afternoon. A lack of maintenance and ineffective communication were the two main causes that led to the Denver train crash last year. A Transport Minister Dubois Peters released the findings by a board of inquiry this morning. A Metro Rail employee was killed and hundreds of people were injured when two trains collided last April. Our reporter Zikona Chona was at that media briefing for us this morning. Uh, this afternoon, good afternoon to you Zikona. First Firstly, has PRASA responded to the findings made by this inquiry? Um, yes, indeed, Kathy. PRASA was at the briefing and they have responded to the, to the findings or the recommendations that were put forward by the Minister of Transport. PRASA says they're really going to interrogate those findings and they're saying that it's, it's fortunate that they were able to do their own investigations and the results of the investigations are the same as that of the railway safety regulator. So they're saying they will definitely look into them. We do know that the driver of that business express train uh, is still recovering at home. Um, whether there will be action taken against the driver, Prasa is not willing to say much about that yet. They're saying they just wish her a speedy recovery. Zikon, one of the things the minister highlighted was that there's been a 6% increase in incidents and this is largely also due to the poor maintenance. Has Prasa got a way? Do they have a plan that they're going to be implementing in the interim to ensure that they minimize the rate at which incidents mm -hmm. are taking place on their railway lines? There was a lot of talk about maintenance and the poor maintenance of equipment at Prasa. Prasa is saying that they're willing to, they, they are working on improving the services. There are new trains that will be um, uh, put out there's also they're also working on a, a better communication and uh, strategy between the trains and the central point where the trains get the communication whether to continue on their journey or to stop we do know that communication was a big deal in the in the in the, in, in the train accident that we saw last year and um, the investigation found out that the drivers were actually communicating using their cell phones instead of using a proper uh, um, more stable communication mechanism, Kathy. Uh, in terms of the issue of human errors, Ikona, how high does it rate mm. where these incidents do occur? Is it just because they don't have the right communication infrastructure or that the communication in itself is also quite poor when they do have it? Well, Kathy, we also know that in this train accident, the driver of that business ex express train was found to be speeding. The, the report also found that the driver had ignored a red light signaling, signaling for the train to stop. Uh, so there was a, a human error at play in this train accident. Um, Prasa is really saying they're also going to look a, in, into driver behavior and talk to their drivers about the importance of uh, railway safety. But there's also incidents where the passengers are the ones that could be responsible for train accidents. Um, Kathy, passengers crossing railway lines in, at very dangerous times. We do know that trains don't, don't stop once they are traveling on a railway track. So really the minister also appealing to passengers, the public, saying they need to practice caution uh, at, at train stations. They need to stop vandalizing process equipment. They need to stop stealing fencing around train stations. Kathy. Uh, Zikona, the minister also said something about a modernization project to be implemented. Uh, what details did she give? Um, there wasn't much detail. We do know that there will be uh, um, hundreds of trains that will be enrolled uh, throughout this year. And um, we also know that in Gauteng and, and KwaZulu-Natal, that modernization process is already underway. Um, uh, most of it is largely in relation to new equipment because uh, it's also come out that the old trains are, are, are actually not of good use at this moment, Kathy. We know that there, there was a report released last year stating that if the train wasn't that old in the, in the accident that we are talking about here, maybe the impact in that accident wouldn't, wouldn't have been that great. But Pras are really saying they're trying to work hard to improve the service and ensure that passengers can really be guaranteed their safety on the, the railway trains that does of course improve uh, that does of course include them upgrading the system working on those railway tracks working on the communication getting new trains for passengers to enjoy the, the, their trips Kathy all right Zikona that's where we're going to leave it for this afternoon she's out at the GCIS center in Pretoria for us